What is going on Pixels? Blaze Graphics here and in case you guys are wondering the background footage might be a little bit different than normal because this is actually my last journey home from working as a mechanic. Alright, I don't even know where to start with this commentary, but basically, I got this job at this place, and I'm not going to say the name simply because there's probably only like one place in the world with that actual name, but basically, I had a job as a mechanic apprentice, and ever since I saw the job, I didn't really like the boss a single bit. You know, he's really bossy, ego, insulting, you know, he's just a little cheeky sod. But more than anything, you guys are probably thinking, why did you even get sacked in the first place? Well, basically, you guys got to bear in mind, it is a mechanic workshop, so it's not really the quietest place in the world. You know, you've got the radio, you've got the airlines, you've got the people working on different cars in the background. But whenever my boss told me to do something, he always used to mumble. He used to say it really quiet, so it's hard for me to actually hear what he said. And whenever I asked him, sorry, what did you say? He always used to say it in an annoying voice. He looked like he used to absolutely hate me. He wanted to kill me. Seriously, he looks so annoyed over little small stuff like that. And since I'm an apprentice mechanic, I haven't always got things to do, so I'll sweep up everywhere, I clean everything up that needs cleaning, and watch other mechanics so that I'm learning stuff instead of just standing around doing nothing. So then I was following one of the mechanics and then straight up the boss just said stop following and you don't need to keep following people everywhere and stuff like that, so I just stood in the middle of the room doing nothing. And of course, you know, I did make a couple of mistakes here and there. You know, every apprentice isn't perfect. Everyone makes mistakes whenever they go into a new thing like mechanic and stuff like that. You know, once I was doing an oil service on a car and started tightening the oil filter, but then one of the mechanics asked me, you know, to fill up the window washer, the radiator fluid with water, and then the mechanic actually started up the car afterwards without even asking me. So as you guys could imagine, you know, there was a big oil leak, and I kind of got blamed for that, which kind of sucks. But on, the, but on the last day, I clocked in after I got my overalls and boots on, and it was bang on 8.30, which is actually the time we start work at that place. And I know you shouldn't really be ready at work at bang on the time when you're supposed to be ready. You know, you're supposed to be early. But the last time I've been late to that job was probably like three, four weeks ago. And since I've got my moped, I've never been late since. Like, the latest I've been is like maybe two minutes early. So it's not really that late at all. And then, so I clocked in after I got ready at 8.30 and then the boss kept telling me, oh, you're late, that is absolutely bad. You're supposed to clock in after you get ready. When I, when I actually did in reality, but he thought I clocked in before I got ready at 8.30. And even though, you know, that's just two minutes late. You know, one of the mechanics was like 15 minutes late. If the boss didn't even say anything to him. But you know, everything that he said, like me clocking in before I got ready and stuff like that, I pretended that he was right, because I didn't actually want to keep my job anyway, you know, I just didn't like it a bit. But then after that, I was just stood around the workshop for literally like straight up an hour, you know, I've swept up everything, I've cleaned up everything that I could see, I literally had nothing to do. And then the boss just tells me, you know, go into the office, and then he's, and he goes, and he goes, you know, sit down on that chair or whatever, so I sat down on a chair, and he says, oh, he sighs. <sighs> you're not gonna like this and I was like okay you know everything like I tried to make it look like I was bothered but really I just wanted to be sacked anyway the only downside I weren't recording or anything like if I had this on tape that would have been amazing that would have probably gone viral but I weren't recording which kind of sucks so I was more sad about that than I was actually getting sacked which really does suck and then boom you know he sacked me which is perfect because the timing on that is absolutely insane because two days later my nearby college is actually starting like college courses for mechanics and stuff like that which is actually very lucky for me you know it's like it had to happen like everything happens for a reason and what do you know you know I've got a college course the guy at college says my grades were really good which is funny because because the boss at the old place actually said my grades were absolutely shocking and I should be ashamed because I can't get a good course or anything, I can't get anywhere with it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. But for now, I'm out. Peace.